everybody, I'm Jamie Skadokataya of JSA, and this is your monthly news headlines as fast as we can make them. If you want the full story, go ahead and click on the logo over my shoulder. All right, let's get started. We've been teasing up some big news coming soon out of Vancouver. Have you guessed it? That's right, it's the Spencer Building Carrier Hotel that will connect carriers and customers of all sizes together in the city's newest state-of-the-art carrier hotel. Stay tuned for more at spencerbuilding.com. And following a recent series of announcements of contract wins in the Middle East, Redline Communications has a few more. They are announcing it's been selected to deploy its award-winning virtual fiber technology to deliver high-speed wireless broadband service solutions for one of the largest telecom service providers in the Mideast. Additionally, Redline announcing it's deploying its RDL 3200 family of rugged sized, highly secure virtual fiber solutions for a surveillance project that will help ensure the safety and security of citizens, residents, pilgrims, and infrastructure in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Caruso Energy, a company on a mission to align climate goals with the future of computing infrastructure, a mission we should all embrace and share. Well, they just answered the Earth's call for more green solutions with its newly unveiled data center services offering. Caruso's data center services empower customers to gain unmatched environmental benefits without sacrificing that power of modern data centers. Definitely learn more at carusodatacenters.com. All right, guys, Telehouse Nyax, one of the largest neutral IXPs on the US East Coast and even across the world, announces that UPIX, neutral network operator and global provider of connectivity services, just upgraded its New York Nyax port from 10 gig to 100 gig. UPIX connects within Nyax at 60 Hudson, one of seven major carrier hotels in the New York, New Jersey area where Nyax is present. Data Center Alley, that's right guys, Data Center Alley continuing its super hot growth trajectory with a new build by DataBank. The company adding to its already extensive lineup of high performing data centers by breaking ground on a center in Northern Virginia. The new facility IAD3 aims to deliver up to 40 megawatts of power to that area. Well done. Prime Data Center is announcing its plans for a second data center at its Sacramento, California campus, located at the McClellan Park Business Complex. That's to meet the ever-growing capacity demands for cloud operators, enterprise, social media, content distribution forms, platforms like Zoom, WebEx, spurred on by COVID. Uh, and this second facility designed to meet the growing demand in both the Sacramento Metro, as well as San Francisco Bay Area with twice the capacity of Prime's existing facility. So exciting stuff there, Good congratulations, Prime. Talking exciting news and heading further east, going out of the Asia Pacific area, we have big news from Big Data Exchange, BDX, on a mission to redefine data center power flexibility, BDX launches flexible data halls in its high density data center, NKG1, located in the heart of bustling Nanjing, China. Apex premier data center, Colo and hybrid cloud solutions provider already has that solution running in its other facilities across the sought after region, including Singapore and Hong Kong. All right, guys, so have you read the headlines yet on the metaverse? Yeah, well, it's changing the way we are socializing, interacting, doing business, you know, sharing knowledge, experiences of all set sorts, basically our entire way of communicating. Uh, and Edge Connects, a pioneer in changing the landscaping for edge data center development, understands that significance and implication of how something as mega as the metaverse will not only impact the way data centers operate now, but also in the future. As, as a matter of fact, in a recent Data Center Frontier article, Philip Marangella, the CMO there, uh, stated this, the vision cannot become reality without an infrastructure that extends from core to edge and sustainably scales to deliver this new kind of universe where humans choose to go. Really a must read article for the complete article, for the complete story, go ahead and click here. And in related news, Edge Connects is the latest recipient of the Frost and Sullivan Competitive Strategy Leadership Award for 2021. That's in recognition of its flexible, 
customer-focused data center solutions. And by the way, guys, this is not just another award. Frost and Sullivan's Best Practices Awards recognizes those that have displayed extraordinary leadership and innovation in their respective industries. So congratulations, Edge Connects. And Lightpath also making good on its goal of increasing the reach and reliability of its all fiber network wherever there is a strong customer demand. The company announcing a second major expansion in the Boston metropolitan area. This adds 50 route miles of network, bringing that total route mile in the Boston metro area to more than 130. Congrats, Lightpath. The Atlanta data center also hotter than ever Server Farm, a global data center operator and leading DMAS provider, recently announced it's opened up an additional 110,000 square feet of new capacity at its Atlanta data center, ATL1. In a move that highlights the company's extensive business model of modernizing underutilized facilities, Server Farm added much needed capacity to the Atlanta region while eliminating the need for a carbon intensive new build. Well done. Consolidated Communications, a top 10 fiber provider in the US, launching Fidium Fiber, its new gigabit consumer fiber internet brand backed by an all new customer experience. Fidium Fiber Internet initially rolling out in select markets in Northern New England, delivering symmetrical gigabit internet to residential customers with no data caps. More info right here. And just a few short months after launching its channel partner program, American Tower already making a string of big news. First up, its addition of Global Telecom Solutions, or GTS. The Detroit-based telecommunications cloud services firm now has access to the American Tower data center portfolio that includes six edge data centers and three metro data centers for co-location. Also in the news, American Tower welcoming Colotrack, a global sourcing advisory firm for co-location, managed hosting, cloud, and related network services as a technology solutions broker. Colotrack agents now have access to American Tower data centers for providing enterprises with end-to-end -end IT services. Well done. And connected to fiber, announcing that CTI Towers, an operator of over 1,200 wireless communication towers across 47 states in the US, leveraging the connected world platform now to identify highly valuable clients within CTI's tower property markets and to assist in the company's tower acquisition strategy. Excellent use of that fabulous connected to fiber platform. All right, guys, as an industry leader in delivering exceptional data center experiences to global enterprises, Stream Data Centers, announcing the addition of Yvonne Deer as its new Vice President of Hyperscale Leasing and Development. Deer's extensive experience across hybrid cloud, multi-cloud co-location, and hyperscale data center solutions, of course, well in line with this stream strategy. Okay, guys, one last note before we end it. And this is a shout out for all innovators out there. We here at JSA are inviting top thought leaders who are really interested in reducing carbon footprints to come and join us to co-author a book on greener data. So we're looking for like the top 20 innovators on this topic. If you are interested in learning more, go ahead, click here. All right, guys, that is a wrap for your monthly news headlines as quick as we can make them. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya of JSA. As always, stay safe and happy networking. Hope to see you soon at PTC.